Hey, what's going on, peoples? Happy Generational Wealth Wednesday. It's your man, Jimmy, from MyAdvisorJimmyHoward.com. And as you can see, we're reporting live from the campus of the historical Morris Brown College. I know it's been a minute, uh, been a long minute, probably sent a left for you, especially without a dope beat to step two, step two. But no, so today, I want to switch things up. So instead of standing in front of the traditional white, uh, white uh, chalkboard or dry erase board, I decided to get out and get in the community and talk to people. So I was inspired to come to the campus of Morris Brown when I came across a statistic that stated that by the year 2053, black wealth is predicted to be pretty much non-existent, to be at zero. And one of the main contributing factors to that statistic was student loan debt. Uh, and that's something that I can vouch for myself. <laughs> so. I wanted to get your thoughts. I wanted to see how did that make you feel? You know, when you hear that statistic, black wealth is st slated to be at zero by 2053. How does that make you feel? And what are your thoughts regarding things and action that we could begin taking right now today as individuals and as a community to kind of change the narrative and change the direction? What's your name, bro? Neil Kimes. I have Neil Kimes. So, Mr. Kimes, my question for you, okay. again, there was research recently done that stated that by year 2053, black wealth will pretty much be non-existent, will be at zero. So, my question to you, uh, what are your feelings are or what your thoughts are regarding that and what can we begin doing to change that narrative? Uh, I, my, my thoughts and feelings are currently right now are that I don't believe that that's going to be true. But what we can do to improve our financial situation in the black community is we can start investing in our own community, investing in ourselves, building, building more financial institutions where we can loan to one another as far as the banking systems and also opening, uh, opening our own businesses. Uh, black owned, black operated businesses. Once we do that and we reinvest back into the community, I think it's going to be a revolving, revolving fund. It's going to keep on, keep on growing and the black community is going to keep on prospering. I definitely appreciate it. All right. Jarvis and DJ Johnny Prince. Yes, sir. And we are 102.6 Situation online radio station, the official uh, home of Morris Brown College here. Thank All you for having us. Appreciate right, it. So my question to you guys, there was some research recently done that stated by the year 2053, black wealth is estimated to be at zero. Mm. Now, mm. how does that make you feel with your thoughts regarding that? And what can we begin mm. doing as a, as a people to kind of change that narrative? Um, I, yeah, start yeah, off? Yeah, yeah. Okay, for me starting off, um, it makes you feel a way, but um, you know, facts make you feel a certain way so with that being said i think we need to start um spending more time concentrating on keeping our dollar in our community and if we keep our dollar in our community we can generate a lot more wealth and with that being said we need to actually start paying attention to how to budget on a a more um long scale mm -hmm. yeah. as a, instead of living check to check you need to have better goals set as it relates Absolutely. to your finances right. and then start just doing your homework doing your research start having that financial conversation in mm -hmm. in your home and in your community i think we'll be able to in, embrace wealth in another format Absolutely. and change the narrative absolutely i, I think that we got to be mindful of who's the narrative who's the narrator right you know what i'm saying like Fact. who's putting this together you know what i mean and we've been listening to this narrator and we got to be mindful of that, you know. I don't agree with that. You know, we have way too much money in our community. We just disperse it differently than other ethnic groups. Um, like my partner said, if we just continue to keep that dollar in the community, you know, and have those financial conversations in our homes, we'll be, we, we will not be at zero wealth in 53. We will not, you know what I'm not. saying? So please understand that. Do not listen to the narrator. Again, we are reporting live from the campus of Morris Brown, which is located directly across, as you can see from the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. You can see Mercedes-Benz Stadium from here. Morris Brown College, founded in 1881. Believe it or not, guys, it is still in operation. Despite what you may heard about them losing accreditation, they still are in operation. And I, for one, strongly believe that they are uniquely poised 
to really make a difference and turn things around despite what may have happened in the past. But again, this whole video today, Generational Wealth was inspired by statistic. Black wealth will pretty much be non-existent by the year 2053. How does that make you feel? And what can we begin doing about it now to change the narrative?